County governments in North Carolina provide a wider array of services or programs than in many states where counties have a more limited responsibilities. For example, North Carolina counties typically play a larger role in health and social services than in many states. Generally, most of the county's programs and services are mandated or required by state and or federal government, such as health services and social services. Only a few programs and services in the county are truly optional. This question is a timid question. It goes first to Ms. Coast. What is your philosophy about how Chatham County should be governed? And how would that impact how you manage the Chatham County budget? Kind of see a disconnect between the opening statement and the question, so let me see if I can try to pull them back together. Um, I know that around 70% of our county budget is mandated um, because we, as counties, are in North Carolina, we are Dillon ruled, which means that we can't say boo unless the state of North Carolina says we can say boo. Um, we get our marching order from them, and we are an arm of the state. 30% um, of our budget is not mandated, um, but those are services such as the library. Those are services um, such as the county manager is not even mandated, but we all know that you need a manager in order to, to run the organization. Um, we are mandated, however, to provide for the new schools. It is a clear responsibility of county government to pay for new, new school facilities. Um, as far as the way to manage the budget, I think that the more public input that we can have, the more that we're interacting with the citizens to find out what they need. I was very unhappy with some of the cuts that have been made to the budget, as you well know, including when we cut the library hours and then added back, um, when we cut the bookmobile, when we cut senior programs for food. Um, these are all programs that aren't mandated, but they're all very important to a prosperous and healthy community. Um, we're entering into a very crazy time. Um, up until now, a lot of what budgeting, discretionary budgeting goes on at the local and state level depends on hopeful or concrete money coming down from the level above, and that is all going to stop. If the federal government ever gets its act together, um, money coming down to the state and local level is going to dry up, and we're going to be on our own. And if we are not looking out for every single dollar that we spend and trying to make it as efficient as possible and try to find other places to make things happen that have been traditionally a government function, we're not going to survive here either. And that is basically what I would be looking to do. Uh, government is not a be-all and end-all. It is the last resort, and sometimes you have to spend money as a last resort, but that's what we have to look to do. Thank you. Sounds like gloom and doom. The, uh, the real meat here is that services play right into the economic development. You want to have things as long as you can afford to that make the quality of life in your community better. Every every corporation that even thinks about coming to Chatham, the first two things they look at is your school system and your quality of life and what's available for their employees and their families. So, and the other part about the money drying up, it's not going to dry up. Uh, I was criticized for my campaign ad in the paper with all the regional committees that I sit on. There's a lot of them. I hope you all saw it. About we don't need to be there. Well, that's where you're going to get hurt because there's nobody, there's no single legislative entity getting state and federal money anymore. If you don't partner with your towns or partner with another county or a group of counties, then yes, you are going to dry up. So it's very important to maintain a voice at the table of all these regional board, boards. Uh, the, the money's not there to, to give everybody project money. But you can save a lot of money by putting your projects together 
just as we're currently working on a regional water intake for the western side of Jordan Lake at a, at a water plant. The two together are going to cost about $70 million. So we're partnering with Owasso Water Plant, UNC, Durham City, Durham County, Wake County, Cary, and us. And we will pay our portion of that based on the allocation of water that we end up getting. So we just got to do what we do smart. And everything in this county is not broken. As far as planning services, I've been on four boards now, and every board that has changed has gone from the far left to the far right to the far left. And we, we have over 400 staff members. A lot of our staff spend their entire time between the election rewriting ordinances that aren't necessarily totally out of line. So we didn't have lots of staff, a lot of services we could provide without extra cost. If we could just find somewhere in the middle that we could live with, because otherwise we're just going to keep doing the same pendulum that we've been doing now for ever. Thank you. I, I believe that uh, I'm in concert with uh, Mike's uh, comments because I've been told that Chatham County has not been uh, at, at the table enough to get the money that could be distributed to the county. And I would see that as a very important activity that needs to be continued and uh, actually expanded. However, as far as the actual question is how the, uh, the, the county is being managed, I believe the county is basically, as Ms. Ha said, we're hamstrung relative to the amount of money we, get, we have to, uh, it comes down from the federal government and the state governments. That's basically 70, 75% of our budget. And we only have about 25 to possibly even 30% of discretionary funding to uh, or an expression dole for those uh, organizations that could use it. So we have to be very discretionary in how we spend that money. Uh, I think that uh, the county has done a good, very good job. Uh, it's, uh, I think one of the things that I had in my mind was that there, there needs to be possibly a more stronger private-public partnership that may, may be more uh, of a, a way to leverage some money into the county. And that way we might be able to uh, do some things that we haven't been able to do uh, recently. Thank you. Any rebuttals? I would just like to make clear, I am not an isolationist. And I understand that uh, in this state, <clears throat> on, on the issues of water and wastewater especially, if you're not cooperating with the other parts of the state, and you don't look at this on a regional basis, you're just being stupid. That's not what I'm saying. And the other point I would like to make is that uh, no matter where you're coming from and what you're trying to do and what kind of government money you're trying to get, if you are, your best friend should be anybody who manages to expand the economy because the economy is the horse and the government is the cart. And anybody who forgets that is being short-sighted. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Move on.